Mama Cat. George. Hello, my sniffers. My name is Marlene McCohen, and I want to welcome you to Story Time Sunday. Today, I have with me Harry. Harry's my bird of the day. You saw some wings? I'm kidding. I actually have Cody with me today. Cody, you want to step up? Cody is my African Grey, and he's going to be here to help me tell this story today. Cause some trouble, jump on my head, the usual thing. Make my hair look amazing, ruin it as the video goes on, the usual Cody things. Today I'm going to tell you an African Grey story. Once again, it's going to be about George the African Grey, but Cody is here to represent, right Cody? Cody doesn't want to come down. Hey guys, see if you can notice, do you hear him talking? Because the light is on Cody. See if you could see how blue his feathers are. He has like these really blue tummy feathers. It's so interesting. Cody, I'm not gonna go through this with this kind of hair today, okay? I think today we're gonna do a really nice video and my hair is gonna stay nice. It's gonna be cool. Cody's like, I don't think so. Did you guys hear him? He said, you're so cute. Cause that's what I say to him. And now he says it to me. It's like the cutest thing. So I don't know if I should leave Cody on my head or not. I feel like he's happy there and he's talking and you guys can hear him talk, which is really cute. But I also feel like, you're so cute. Maybe I should leave. I'm gonna leave him there. Okay, let's tell this story. Oh, here. Tell this story with your eye on your head. There you go. Now you can be the star on my head. Now it's a win-win situation. Okay, you don't want me touching my hair? You wanna be your own artist? All right, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> anyway, here's what happened. So those of you who know my history with birds, you know that George was my first African Grey. I started my YouTube channel because of George. I really should have continued with my YouTube channel because imagine where I would be now with Birdland and YouTube Land. It would have been so much fun, but of course I didn't do that. So when George died, I really committed to my YouTube channel. I tell you guys this all the time, but you never know who's watching for the first time. So I like to give you guys as many details as I can. Anyway, George was my first African Grey. He was very inspiring. As much as I love to analyze him, he loved to analyze me. It was an amazing relationship. My family loves birds. My brother especially loves birds. I would say that my brother and I are the two in the family that are bird lovers. And then my sister is kind of more like the leader of the pack. She's the leader of the dogs. She's amazing with the birds. And I think she's gonna be an avian specialist as a vet, I'm really hoping. But her first loves are definitely the dogs. Yeah, what do you think about that, Cody? If she got a very special conure again, I'm pretty sure that he would win her heart over. And she loves all of the birds in the house, obviously. I was really excited for my brother to come. You don't have a cough. Can I at least see? No, I just want to see. Cody, I don't need, you can keep my hair messed up, but I want to see what I'm saying. Like I want to see out of my eyes, okay? I live in Los Angeles and my brother was living in Texas and I was really excited for him to meet my African Grey George because he had never had an African Grey either. We had always had cockatoos, Amazons, cockatiels, conures, you name it, we had, but George was our first African Grey. So he wasn't really accustomed to how amazingly talented African Greys are in things that they can do. He knew that they talked a lot, but he was not prepared for other things. So here's what happened. One day when he was visiting, he was on the computer. He said he had something to do for class, so he was working a lot. And I'm like, that's fine. I gotta go on an audition. I'll be back. I told him if you wanna hang out with George the Bird, you could sit him right here. I had like this bookcase and he loved to sit on the edge of it and I made him a special spot there. So I said, you know, George will just sit here while you're doing your work and he'll hang out with you. So I go out and I come back not too much longer later and my brother is done with his stuff. He was using my computer and I say, how did it go? How behaved was George? He's like, oh, George was great. Everything was cool. I got my paper done. So I'm feeling really good. We can go hang out. 
And I'm like, okay, cool. Let's uh, go out to lunch. Hello. So that's Cody leaving a message. He's kind of saying like, wait for the tone and beep and hello. So we decided to go out for lunch and hang out. But before we left, my brother said, oh, I got to tell you something though. Somebody keeps instant messaging you on your computer. And I go, really? I go, I don't really leave my instant messenger on. In fact, I didn't use instant messenger. He goes, yeah, it's beeping consistently. Someone's trying to get a hold of you. And I'm like, oh, okay, let me check it out. He goes, I did already, but like, I can't find any messages. He goes, it's the weirdest thing. Your computer is a little weird. I can't find the messages. Maybe you know where the messages are. I go, wait a minute, are you talking? about the little AOL chat message sound? He goes, yeah, it keeps doing that. And I'm like, oh, I knew right away. It was George. I go, oh, that's not my message. That's the bird. He goes, no. I'm like, yeah, that was the bird. He goes, no, Marlene, it sounded exactly like a computer. I go, I know these African greys can do that. He was like, I, it's impossible, I'm telling you, you got a message. And then suddenly, right then, we hear it again. But when birds do it, you hear it so clear that even though the bird's in the room and the computer's in the room, you're not sure who did it. You can't tell. And I'm like, that's the bird. He's like, that's the bird. I'm like, that's the bird. He's like, no way, that's the bird. I'm like, that's the bird, I'm telling you. And my brother was just like in awe. He couldn't believe it. Now, keep in mind, We've had birds forever, but I remember when I was working in a restaurant and I met this guy and I told him that I got an African gray. The first thing he told me, he said he has an African gray. First thing he told me was what you're going to be most amazed by is the electronic noises that they can make. The sounds that sounds like computers. Everyone expects them to talk, but nobody expects the alarm, toasters <laughs> popping, ovens beeping, microwaves beeping, camera noises beeping, any noise you can think of, these birds can do it. So it's pretty impressive and it's so unexpected. I think there's been many of you commenting in my videos that you've heard annoying beeping in the back and I need to put a battery in my smoke alarm. I'm like, uh, no, that's just Cody. By the way, Cody is learning the theme song to Game of Thrones. I don't watch Game of Thrones, so I don't know if that was it that he did right now, but he has someone in the house teaching him that, and he really enjoys it, so if you hear any singing from Cody, keep an ear out in case that's what he's doing. Cody does some really funny stuff, actually. If I call anyone in the house, let's say I'm like, Jenna, come here. He makes that noise like, like, show up, and then he'll be like, come here, come here. like. He's helping me wrangle. Cody likes to help me wrangle. Okay, well, this is just gonna be a video about you then and all your funny noises then. Step up. Good girl, yeah. Guys, this is a... Come on. This is a total Cody talking video. So after that, my brother was so impressed with George and he decided, well, if the bird learns this fast, I'm gonna teach him some stuff of my own. Now you should know, I'm the one in the family that's always been considered, I don't know, I don't wanna say uptight because I'm fun, maybe just a little bit proper is the word. I don't like certain words being said around me or noises or, you know, certain discussions. I believe in being proper and classy most of the time. Well, what do you think excited my brother now that he knows my bird can pick up anything? Well, I catch my brother teaching my bird very inappropriate noises that I did not like. First of all, I catch him burping for the bird. And I'm like, don't teach him that because I knew how fast he could learn things. Next thing, he's going like this to the bird, George. I'm like, don't do that. And he's like laughing and the bird's liking it. He's like, and George is loving it. Now I can tell that George is into it and I don't want George repeating these noises. I don't want this kind of sound in my house. I also don't want 
anybody to think that these noises are coming from me in any which way, which is probably my brother's exact goal, you know? I forget about it. Guys, by the time I finish telling this story, I am going to be cousin it, all right? Like, that's what I look like right now, and he's not letting me fix my hair. Anyway, so I know my brother is just loving this idea. George learns a lot of new things from my brother. And then one day I meet George the human. And George the human, not my father, but George the human, he <laughs> comes over for the first time and I introduce him to my birds and I'm like, George, meet George and meet Picasso because that's actually who I had at the time. As I'm introducing them, I tell George the human that he probably won't be able to pick George up or anything. If he wants to put his arm out, I will put him on you, but don't make any quick approaches, and I don't know how he's gonna behave around you. And he's like, no, it's okay, I got this. And I'm like, yeah, well, let's just go have some tea, and we'll try for you to hang out with the bird later. So apparently, I decide that I'm going to go into the room and get a sweater. I go get my sweater. I come back and George is looking really perplexed, like a human that is confused and feels cheated at the same time. And I say to him, oh, stop, this is just terrible. And I say to him, what's wrong? And he's like, your bird just tricked me. I'm like, didn't I tell you not to approach the bird without supervision? He's like, I know. I go, then what? Why aren't you listening to me? I'm giving you a warning. I don't want him to bite you or anything. He goes, but he told me to come over. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, he told me. He said, hey, hey. And so I looked at him because I realized I'm the only one in the room. And I knew he was talking to me. I go, and then what? He goes, and then he said to me, Come here, come here, come here. So I went and I thought, maybe he wants me to pick him up. Maybe he wants me to hold him. I go, and then what happened? He goes, and then he went like this to me. <laughs> oh my God. This is the moment that my bird decides to display the great teachings of my brother. In this moment, when I bring someone home that I'm trying to see how acquainted they can be with birds, leave a good impression, my bird decides it's time to find that one moment when he's alone, call him over in a cute little whisper, and then basically tell him to off. That's basically what the bird did. I was like, that is crazy because it all tied back to what my brother taught him. And honestly, I hadn't heard him do it around the house. I think my brother did say that he learned it, but I hadn't ever heard him. This was his time to display what he had learned. And that's something very interesting that birds will do. Sometimes they won't show the person that they want to impress I didn't teach him that, just so you guys know, okay? He came doing that, not pleased with it. I try not to make a big reaction out of it. If I acknowledge it at all, he will do it more. So yeah, Cody came burping. Anyway, it was just funny because birds do that a lot. They save up what they've learned to display it at a really exciting time when they know you're going to be entertained. Sometimes they even practice things when you're not around. Like I was teaching George that alphabet. He never repeated not a letter. And then one day when my roommate was eating alphabet cereal, he asked me, he said, hey, are you teaching George the alphabet? And I'm like, yeah, why? He goes, well, he's saying all the letters. I'm like, why doesn't he say them near me? And then I realized, like, he's saving it up. He wants to reveal it when he feels like he's good at it, but he didn't mind doing it in front of my roommate. Cody will not let me fix my hair, so I'm just going to pretend in my head that I'm in, like, some Vogue magazine and this is the coolest style on earth because I don't even know what else to do. If I fix it, he gets mad. It's like I've... 
and it gets worse. <laughs> oh yeah, he says. Guys, I'm so sorry about Cody on my head. <laughs> You're not a good bird. What do you mean good bird? <laughs> he's crazy. Not good for messing up my hair. Cody thinks he's Vidal Sassoon. He thinks this is his hair styling YouTube channel. Cody decided this is what he was born to do, right Cody? So that is my story time Sunday. It's really cute how they save things up to show. It's really cute how I watched him learn it and then watched him display it. It's not really cute that this one wants to mess up my hair and won't let me fix it so that I could even say bye to you guys properly. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. It means so much to me. Please, please subscribe. Follow me on social media. Follow my Instagram for more videos of my birds throughout the day. I use my Instagram story like a Snapchat. I really enjoy that. You'll get to see a lot of stuff that's happening throughout the day. And join Parrot Station. That is my Facebook page where I can see your birds. And if you're new to birds or you just wanna see products that I love and buy for my birds, I've put together a really amazing list for you in the link below. It's called Products I Love. So you can see everything that I buy for my birds and I always add new stuff. I also went through the list to make sure that everything on the list has the best ratings possible. So if you're wondering about anything that you need for your birds, I've also put some descriptions in there letting you know how I use the items. So if you scroll over them, you can see that. I don't know what he's doing, but you guys should take this as a, do you actually want an African gray video? Not saying they'll mess up your hair, but look at the noises they're capable of. <laughs> they're still like my favorite. I just love them so much. He's amazing. He's such a cute bird. So that is all guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe, share, comment, and like it helps me get my videos out there and obviously motivates me to make new content for you guys uh cody do you want to say bye instead of that horrific noise no well i should have put him on the spot in the beginning are you serious you only do that when i'm talking that's so mean it can't be stop it stop I don't like this noise. Cody, do you want to say goodbye to the channel? Oh, you really only make that noise when I'm talking. That's so wonderful. On that note, I wish you guys a wonderful Sunday. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. I love you all. Bye-bye. You come here. 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 You're so cute. I love you.